Dr. Frank Faulkner was a Hall of Famer in many aspects of life. As a doctor, Faulkner was world-renowned. He became a leader and a pioneer in pediatric growth and development, publishing papers and leading several major studies on child development. After earning his medical degree in London during the height of World War II in the German Blitz, Faulkner emigrated to Louisville, where he became the chair of the Department of Pediatrics. It was there that his SCCA career took hold. Though he had been a Formula Junior driver in England, he learned early on that his skill was in race management. Just two years after moving to the United States, Dr. Faulkner had become RE of the Kentucky region and hosted the National Convention in 1960. Soon after its creation, he became chair of the newly formed SECA Competition Events Committee. As a part of this group, he helped introduce the stewards program into SECA racing and outlined the stewards of the meeting, their duties, and responsibility. In 1963, Dr. Falker was elected to the SECA Board of Governors and became chairman in 1966. Under his leadership, the club evolved from an amateur-only racing organization to a club that supported and ran professional events as well, including the Formula One races on U.S. soil. His leadership was recognized at the time, and Dr. Faulkner received the Wolf Barnato Award in 1966. Concurrently to serving on the SECA board, Dr. Faulkner also served as a representative to ACUS and on the FIA Commission on Race Safety. A professional relationship with John Cooper led to his unofficial role as team physician for the Cooper and Terrell Formula One teams, among others. That led, of course, to a team manager role for Cooper, including the Indianapolis 500 effort that revolutionized the sport with a rear engine configuration in 1961. How important was motorsports to Dr. Faulkner? Well, the leading pediatrician in the world scheduled his European medical conferences to tie in to the Formula One schedule. Dr. Faulkner was also known as a mentor to many aspiring race car drivers. None, however, are more famous than suggesting to a drifting, ne'er-do-well friend of his son's that he should consider motorsports, sending him to driving school in England. After securing a test with Terrell, that friend, Danny Sullivan, went on to win the 1985 Indianapolis 500. And did we mention that Dr. Faulkner was also an accomplished concert pianist and composer? The winner of the 1995 International Pediatric Association Medal can now posthumously add another title to his very distinguished life. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dr. Frank Faulkner to the SCCA Hall of Fame. Accepting on behalf of Dr. Faulkner tonight is Sally Letzer.